and Chinese versus Mayan. So after this, we'll have a, I guess we'll we'll probably skip the the last break, um, since we'll have just one more game left after this. Um, but we will talk about the last um, last part of the donation of the uh, stream. What am I trying to say? We'll talk about the last theme that we had ready for the break. All right, so we're in game. We have Gluttony in the blue versus Brevin in the red. Gluttony immediately garrisons all his villages as Chinese. So if you guys want to know what a Chinese build order looks like, this is probably the best example here. Send all the villagers into the town center, um, right onto one of the sheep. Hopefully you found your sheep already because you have, and you get loom, of course. So Tony is now going to force drop and he's able to make, be able to make a, another villager after a second force drop. Um, so you are going to have a little bit of idle time there. But he has a loom. His villagers have 40 HP now. He doesn't have to worry about getting that later. The trick is to wait until each bill has 9 before you try to force drop. 9? Okay. If you wait for 8, some of them will have 7 and you'll screw yourself. Um, really interesting house here by um, Gloria, or not Gloria, it's Gluttony. I'm not sure why he walks so far away to build that house. I guess it is forward, so it is part of the wall. But sometimes, like, in this early part of the game as uh, Chinese, I generally just try to keep my villagers working as much as possible. And these... Yeah, but uh, you, have, uh, you have 10 pops facing your TC, right? So <clears throat> you can afford to be more efficient and make it part of your part of your wall. Right. Yeah, it's no. already a good order with Chinese anyway, so... Yeah. Really mess up otherwise. Uh, but it's good that he has Zebra here. Um, just so Super that... important to yeah. get here. Yeah. I killed two sheep. Yeah, you're gonna go through hunt very quickly. I guess he was gonna go through two sheep anyways. Um, Wait, did he? I you think only so. one. No, I, yeah, I think he only killed one. I mean, it was kind of messy there. I can't really see. He has four sheep left, so yeah, standard so far. Okay. Yeah. So. yeah. All right, wasn't a Titanic as we might have thought. <laughs> but uh. Wow, they're so close. You guys want me to flip a coin between who wins between Brohio and Baskets? I can do that. Or we can just have chat vote. How have about you... I fight and then uh, Mass Whoever fights? Okay, you just want to clap someone, got it. I just want to <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to have the energy to keep streaming all that. <laughs> Oh boy. I thought you were committed to the ACLU. I am committed, but we we reached our goal and my commitment has drained. Uh, the same way the donations have drained once we hit our goal, though. I'm, I'm still... I, we did have another $10 donation from Justine Burke Torset. Probably butchering that name, but I appreciate it. You vote Adile wins the tournament? Yeah, I think Adile definitely gets respect there for starting the, uh, the series of um doing charity streams so yeah as we see gluttony has collected as much hunt as he can he's only going to berries now after he's taken um he's 15 pop so pretty late but he's just focusing on all the hunt under his town center the big disadvantage for chinese is if they get dressed early but it looks like brevin is just uh working on collecting his own hunt he's on three on wood so Trion, what is Mayans? Um, he knows he doesn't get scouts, right? <laughs> does he? Are you sure about that? And he's got this bill off the house, a house bill. Yeah, he's got a house bill that's not really doing too much. Um, this is going to be a rough one. Definitely yes. going to be a rough one for Brimen. <laughs> I think you really want to draw to do Man at Arms against Chinese fairly early. Um, just to make sure you get that pressure and screw up the build order as much as you can, because they're they can't really match man at arms um, very well, um, because their focus th their food is pretty tight at the beginning of the match. They really rely on banking up some food while they're clicking up to castle age or not castle age feudal age. So Brevin. What is his plan? He's still only three on wood. He still hasn't set any more on wood. Is he going to tower rush? Like, <laughs> Barracks going uh, up what, now. What's your game time? 
Oh, I forgot the speed forward. Yeah. So I was at seven minutes. Yeah, we're just... about ten now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have no commentary for a little bit. You just you can commentate. You just gotta do it fast. Okay. So Revan's here on the blue. He's making some drush uh, militia. No, it's not gonna be a drush. He's already up to feudal age. So it's gonna be man at arms. So he's doing a good job with that. Um, he's gonna attack the berries. Berries. Uh, Gluttony fights it off. Revan loses a, a village or a militia. Gluttony loses one as well, and we're at back at game time. Denying the stable a little bit from Gluttony, but Gluttony made sure to keep it uh, close to his TC, something that Brevin could have used the help on um, last game. Um, four and four, five on wood for Gluttony, so he's going to have plenty for farms. Everything's looking pretty smooth for him. He's got his scouts out, and he can collect getting the straggler trees. Getting pushed off the various Chinese is actually very That's painful. true, yeah. I didn't think about that. Um, but Gluttony did push... Oh, he only pushed two Zebra. I thought he was going to push more, but maybe they ran back. And Brevin actually walling this game. That's nice to see. And going for the Arch Range Blacksmith follow-up. Now going back to Berries, because Brevin's looping around, trying to see where he can do some damage. Um, I think with just two Man at Arms and an Eagle, um, yeah, Gluttony's going to fight this with Bills and... He's microwing, trying to microwave the weak vill, but I think it's going to get caught. Yeah, it does nice. get caught. But he does lose his eagle, though. Uh, that's unfortunate There's for Brevin. Another one. Is that the scout on the ground? Yeah. Uh, He's going to get another one. No. Oh my gosh. Well done there, Brevin. Props. Let's Three vills. That's really good. Let's get the props for Brevin in chat. And now the terrible walls on his gold. Brevin, why do you do this to me? Oh. Uh. He stopped building the house halfway through. Too. Yeah, he's gonna get a house watch. <laughs> okay, he, he he heard you. He's stream sniping. You finished building it, <laughs> dude. He wants to micro so badly. He was ready to kill a zebra. Brevin <laughs> <laughs> okay. is all about just getting good micro. All he's been doing recently is playing Micromania. <clears throat> yeah, Brahio. Let's go, Brevin. Completely agree. I want to see him take some good engagements. I don't expect him to win the game. I don't want to, like, create false hope, but some good engagements and maybe get some momentum off of that. Um, so, yeah, he will the front, but Gloria's, or, no, Gloria's, Gluttony's smart. He comes up on the side. Spear waiting there. Good reaction time from Brevin. And, uh, yeah, that's an easy wall for him. Very smart. Same thing on the left side. I hope he follows up with that as well. Um, Probably needs to reset his TC gather point. Okay, he has. Hopefully that Bill will stop taking that. Uh, yeah, good job with the spears here for Brevin. I think he will want to try to do something with the archers. If we look at the Bill oh, okay. count. Get um, a weak Bill on an outer farm. Oh, yeah. Beautiful hero snipe. Um, Still only on one range at the moment. And interesting, Brevin is up a Bill oh, against Chinese. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, what is, what? Sent all of his farmers to wood. He's got no farmers. <laughs> interesting, interesting build order, for sure. Uh, does he have fletching? He doesn't have fletching either, and he's going forward against five scouts. What, one spear. Uh, what's going on? What's, what, what, what? Brevin, what, what, is he, what are you doing with all he, this on wood? Why does he, why does he have 23 on wood? Because he wants what? to drop another range? I don't know. This is like AI build order. Or they he just... accidentally sent his villagers on farms to wood, and then instead of sending them back to that, he just made another lumber camp. Yeah. And then he's and gonna lose all his archers. And now we have, oh, I guess... Too much yeah. for my brain to handle right now. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> 24 on wood. He didn't even reset the gather point from the TC back to the farms. He no, has no, no military. No, no, it should have stayed 24 for the taunt, so now he's messing with us. <laughs> How high he gets his, uh... The gates. Until he notices. <laughs> oh my god. What is Brevin, bro. <laughs> oh boy. Well, Gluttony did play this very cleanly. I gotta give props, except for the three bills he lost. 500 wood and 24 food. <laughs> Interesting play. Oh. He knew that he would be taken off of gold. So he invested in the wood earlier, and he's getting a market. So he's going to sell the extra wood for the gold. Why of there? Of course. 
Um, Honestly, the number one thing about Bremen right now is just building placement. What is this? <laughs> building placement and being, yeah, just not wanting to wall whatsoever. He still doesn't. He does have fletching now. Okay. Glenny with this late split on the scouts, and going right back for the archers. Now that the scrims are present, he can do that. He does have fletching now. Yeah. Both of them do. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I'm guessing Gluttony will be up to castle soon. What does his res look like? I guess he is investing in skirms, so probably not. Yeah, it's a lot of scouts and skirms. Yeah. But I think he'll still be up faster than Mr. 25 uh, far, far, Twenty-five Woodworkers. He's investing into carpentry. I'll just put it that way. He's going to buy soon. He's dropping a market right now. Are you talking about Gluttony? Oh yeah, yes. okay. I see the market now. You think you buy up? Oh yeah, I just I... did. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty clean. And then, what do you think his follow up is? Double stable knights, knights and just completely destroy this. Knights and siege, I would imagine. Yeah. Don't see the second stable. Oh no, I think he's gonna castle drop him. He's on stone. Yeah, he's sending more to stone. He's gonna castle drop his ass. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I want to see some claps in chat. Archer upgrades. And yeah, and that main that main gold and his secondary gold and that stone just asking for a castle right yeah, there. Yeah, right. I'm kind of surprised that Gluttony hasn't tried to deny that more. Maybe he wants to Brevin to keep playing until he can castle drop him. Well, Gluttony still has. Uh, He's still got army in his base, so there's nothing probably to really do at the moment. Gluttony has army in his base? Yeah. Gluttony. Gluttony has armor in, uh, army in Brevin's base. Oh, no, yeah, no, that's what I mean. I'm surprised that Gluttony doesn't sit on the gold and deny it with the skirms. I mean, yeah. do you see the formation of those <laughs> uh, that, that army? Uh, <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> These <laughs> LA box formation so pro. Like, bro, I, I'm pretty sure at this point Brevin just wants to micro. Like, he's like, all right, I'm up to Castle Age. Eco can take a a back stand. I made my houses. I'm good. I've met my quota for macro. I just want to do eco. Oh man. Bills are forward. I he needs to take that fight. Oh no! Oh Coward. my gosh! Coward! Coward! Absolutely. All right, baskets, GGs. I'll let uh, Brahio win then. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll toss a coin. I'll let you know. I'm scared of Brahio. Admin went to Brevin because he's a coward and he's not dropping a forward castle. Look at Brahio now with the the tower on his gold. I don't understand this order. <laughs> baskets, you want video evidence of the coin? I don't even have a coin. When I used to be a soccer ref, I would use my badge. That's how rarely I had a coin. I would use the badge that they gave me to prove my uh, that I was a ref, like my official insignia badge. And that's what I would flip for the coin toss. I'd rip it off my shirt. Stone walls? Wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Are you gonna go 20, 20 uh... pop bills or what? Why? <laughs> <laughs> He's going chooks. I, I think I know what's happening here. Is he going for great walls? He's going to wall Brevin in? I think he's going for great walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, let's go. <laughs> he doesn't have enough on stone. And he's not falling the other side yet. But he is scouting. Oh yeah, he is scouting it. Yeah. He's laid some yeah. foundations down. He's going to wall him in. Brevin the Boomer, I want to see it. I've never seen Brevin the Boomer. He's dropping TCs immediately. He got a Boomer in that last game, though. Uh, I mean, he drops the TCs, but then... Look. What is the Siege Workshop placement, Brevin? Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, yeah. bro, how Great Walls is uh, the Castle Age tech. Should be. Because I'm pretty sure Rocketry is the imp tech. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so he can get it in Castle Age. <laughs> uh, why, Brevin, do you do this to yourself? 
You have room to build a siege workshop elsewhere. <laughs> the Great Walls begin. So you think you'll go fortified or Great Walls first? I think it's like our only discussion topic. Yeah, the Great Walls first. I don't know. We'll see. Did this, uh, this Revan know what's happening? No, he doesn't have any scouting information. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't see. He doesn't see any of the walls. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, the walls are right outside his wood line, and he has no idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice of Glenn uh, to use the uh, gold as walls. Yeah. Very yeah. light. <laughs> well, he still has a hole in front of the castle, too. Maybe he just wants them to path into the castle. I don't know. I think Gluttony's just really afraid of Mayans. That's that's what it comes down to. Mayans yeah, are a, yeah, a the, force to be reckoned with. Threat. Yeah. I can't wait to see, <laughs> look back really at the end doing. of the stream and see what people have clipped. The Just villagers are going around the wall. Oh my god, they're walking through the base wall. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Manganel. Brevin doesn't even know what's coming for him and he's already manging a Manganel. He's like, like, what the hell are those bills doing? <laughs> he hasn't bothered with crossbow, he hasn't bothered with bodkin. Oh, he has a bodkin. Is he gonna get that up? He sees the walls now. He must oh see god. the walls. Uh, what's he even gonna do though? <laughs> oh, the walls are up. The walls are up. Oh, the Bill's pathing under the town center. <laughs> oh, I hope he doesn't resign until he realizes. I want to see great walls. Great are the walls, walls? coming in. It great is. Great walls on the way. Oh, oh my god. When's the last time you've seen great walls in a one v one chat? Oh, Full walls are almost done. So it's great walls first, fortified walls after. University's going up next. He's double walling. <laughs> Disgusting. Well, Brevin's killed a few vills this game, so he's got that going for him. Yeah. He's only slightly behind now. <laughs> Even walled in front of the castle, too. How long do we let this game go on? Like if this is a rank, if this is a recorded game, I totally would fast forward at this point. Yeah, but it's a tournament game for a cause with donations <laughs> and meme requests, so I think we're we're, we're yeah, getting our value. Absolutely. I think Castling in his farming. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No <laughs> scouting whatsoever. Brevin with meso sieves, not a strong suit. And like, look at this woody, woody coat again. Brevin still leaves the gates up. I guess they're part of the wall with the castle. They can just path through the gate. I mean, it does Brevin need walls though? He has enough walls I wonder... surrounding him. I think he's fine. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he can't get raided anywhere. Great walls and fortified walls are in. <laughs> the player in blue is helping out the player in red defend himself against raid, so this is good. Brevin's also pretty bad at late game, so... <laughs> this isn't helping him. Okay, we're up to Imp. 3900 HP. Almost 4000 HP per wall. And that's only gonna go up once he gets up to Imp, right? I think walls go up. He accidentally walled his villagers into the wall. That's they actually did. a true great wall, because I'm pretty sure that happened. It's a great wall. He already has uh, fortified. Yeah. He yeah, has all uh, the text once he gets architecture if yo, they get it. Colin, that was a fucking awesome reference. Well done. <laughs> I hope people picked up on that. <laughs> yeah. That's IRL realistic. Oh, I delete the wall. They would never have allowed that. What do you think Tony does after this? I don't. We can't see chat, so we don't know if there's a reaction from Brevin. To know. Does Brevin go obsidian arrows and try to take arrow the walls with obsidian arrows? He needs to do his wall behind that wood line. Yeah, I agree. He's gonna cut out soon. But the Manganel's there because Brevin wants to be able to wall out <laughs> or cut himself out. Brevin's up to imp as well. Yeah, but here's the problem. You know, you know why it's like the meme Mayans before it's nothing? It's it, it's hurting him right now that his resources last longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's actually really true. Why the lumber camp there? Put it in the middle. <laughs> yeah. There's some definitely weird weird choices there from Brevin. But he is kind of playing force nothing at this point. If you guys thought T90 was going to have the best tournament of the century. Or the best forest nothing tournament. Like, look at this castle, too, on the hill. Not even, like, I don't know. I don't know even know what to say about this game anymore. I don't know what to say about many of the games we saw today. True. Yeah, I can't wait to go back through all the clips. Probably add my own clips. Things that people missed. Brevin's walling behind the Great Wall. Oh, boy. It's happening. Palisade walls in Imperial Age. What is Brevin thinking at this point? We need to interview with Brevin. Like, we need to know what he's thinking. Yes, I agree, Lohab. This is the quality content. Like, I don't know how this game plays out. Does, um... Does Gluttony make, like, a bombard tower between every single one of the towers and all the walls? I'm sure we're gonna see bombard towers yeah. floating in the map. <laughs> I'm sure too. How many, um, is that 200 pop, or, oh my god, so many chew canoes, or is it just going to be a big ball of chooks? <laughs> yeah, Gluttony's taking all the extra gold already, TC the stone, the 99 bills, but he probably doesn't want to make too many more, because he can just sit on the res. Maybe he's going to try to surpass the amount of food that Baskets had in his Goths game versus Slavs. I really I hope like he doesn't the, make a 7 hour uh, game out of this. I like the Relic TC that Revan's dropping. It's really smart. Protect the Relic, make sure nothing <laughs> Dude, Revan! Your TC placement, man. I feel like this is one of those T90 challenge matches. I also am worried about... This 5,200 HP fortified gate that um, Gluttony's making, that it's not actually going to be able to passable with the cliff there. I'm not sure if it is or not. I think Gluttony's going to go for 200 pop chooks. Guys, going to bombard towers. Oh, there we go. The BBTs have started. Okay, I don't think you can afford 200 pop chooks and BBT. But the yeah, trebs well, are already out. It's a problem. All the map, so there is that. Yeah, true. And you can always buy more. You should have walled in front of the stone and gold, so you could take some more. Run! Run out, Brevin! Run while you still can! <laughs> he doesn't know that that BBT's coming up. Oh yeah, right on his wood line. His wood line of like, I don't know how many villagers. Oh god. He sees now, but he only moved like four of them. I think we need to see some counter treads from um, Gluttony if he wants to pull this off. Prevent the castle and uh, Bumper Towers being treb. Is is this tower going to be, or the treads going to be in range of this new BBT? Uh, I think they are. Do BBTs benefit from fletching or brace or anything? Like for range? No. No, no, no. no. They got no upgrades then? No, they do. Uh, rocketry affects them. Oh, and, okay. Uh, all the gunpowder upgrades. Oh, Chooks just destroy plumes. Wait, let me check on something real quick. Well, they destroy them when they only have castle upgrades. That's <laughs> true, yeah. These aren't even elite Chukanus, though. I guess they no, do have fletching, or er, bracer, I mean. All he's missing is elite. He's got everything else. Is he gonna keep the castle up, though? I think he does. It's on Revan. a hill. Bracer, please. Just Chukanus those trebs? I mean, yeah, but he's got the trebs for the trebs. He's repairing his castle fast that the Chukes are taking it down. I, it's only going to cut into a stone for BBT production. Um, yeah, he still has plenty more <laughs> bombard towers going up. And onagers now. Yeah, so those onagers will clear out those trebs real quick. Sorry, correction. Rocket Treat, obviously, I don't know what I was saying. Very tired. Does not affect uh, Umbar Towers. I was thinking of Scorpions. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking there was, like, something special. And, yeah, these Chubs are... Oh, they're able to get away. What was that? You were breaking up a little bit, Varyon. 
I thought that was weird, but I assumed that you knew more than I did. Yeah, it's, I'm very tired. <laughs> I mixed it up. Um, what's Brevin's play now? <laughs> As if he had a His play. play... <laughs> Well, look, if he if he snatches the relic in the right, back, right, right, with TC. longer last, yeah, longer lasting resources. He has a sneak uh, fill. Glenn, he has a sneak fill too, making board all my towers in the back of Brevin's base. Did that fill just walk through the gate, like where he deleted the walls? Maybe. Right under I think TC. so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glenn, he was probably just as surprised as we were. All right, that bomber tower is not going to stay up unless the onagers can get in there. This is like a reverse arena game at this point. Yeah. We've got he's just floating res. He's not even 200 pop. Wait. He's going champion. Dude. You can only style on someone so much. Or can you? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Champions against Mayans. That is... I don't, I don't know what the... I, I can't put that into words. Mayans, the archers that have bonus damage against infantry. I'm going champions against them. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the GG. Okay, yeah, GG. <laughs> what were you seeing? I was wondering if that villager that dropped the bombard tower in the center would actually get away with walking all the way through. <laughs> all the way to back the, through. <laughs> the back. Yeah, oh, actually, my gosh, I didn't even see that other one. Yeah. That would have been too good, probably. Brevin's not looking at his macro at all. Okay, okay, we really need the Brevin interview right now. I want to know what's up, what was going through his mind. Brevin, come, come voice chat. I believe you have um, all the permissions to come join us. I I've never experienced so more. <laughs> Um, yeah, what did you think of that game, Brevin? You should bro. <laughs> GG's. Brevin? Uh, Brevin, hello. I I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Oh, yeah, we were <laughs> what, too. What, what just happened? <laughs> oh, he got walled in. He got great wall. He got four card walled. Any bombard power, he will have it. Yeah, it was full meme. I've Sorry never been... I've never lost and been more happy to lose. Yeah. I suppose that's how I describe this right now. That was the most beautiful thing my eyes have ever beheld. <laughs> the Great Walls of China. He even walled in a villager at one point just to make it uh, historically accurate. <laughs>